Hello everybody and welcome. Now you'll have seen from the thumbnail and the title exactly what this video is about. The brand new Wahoo Rival. Stunning. This is a first look, an exclusive here on the Chris Pritch I say exclusive, it's exclusive to the channel because it's brand new, it's a brand new product. But currently as we speak there's probably like 10 different YouTube channels all dropping exactly the same video. And potentially some of them might actually have the product in their hands. But unfortunately, being a predominantly a cycling channel, this is a, a multi-sport GPS watch. It's kind of wasted on me. But that's not to say that we shouldn't take a look at it. I am after all a hashtag Wahooligan. Wahoo have sponsored content in the past. They've been huge fans of the show and they support the channel where and when they can. So it's only right that we return a small favor and give the world an exclusive, again, an exclusive look on this channel of the brand new Wahoo Rival. So let's get some music on and take a first look at this brand new multi-sport watch, the triathlete, tri is that how you pronounce them? Triathletes? Triathletes? People that do three sports in one. I don't know, stupid, isn't it? Wahoo. Welcome, Wahooligans. From the first morning swim, oh, look at his watch. To the brick workouts, nice watches, guys. To the finish line. Triathlon requires discipline. Discipline requires focus. Maybe, maybe this is where I went wrong. Never lose, yeah, this is where I went wrong. Never lose focus. Element Rival. I think that's their marketing done and dusted right there. Let's take a look at some of those features that are coming to this brand new multi-sports GPS watch. First up, it's so easily compatible, just like the Wahoo Roam, the Wahoo Element Bolt. Compatibility is everything in its simple to use interface on your smartphone via the free companion app. You can customize settings, configure workout pages, link sensors, store your ride history, obviously run history and swim history as well, and automatically sync workouts to your favorite training apps. On top of that, oh, I like this picture. Look at that, colors, I love colors. The Element Rival is built to perform with a high contrast color screen, easy to see in any environment, the focus is on the athlete and trying to make the next workout or race a simple and pain-free experience. This, I mean, if I was a triathlete, this, this would interest me, this part. Touchless transition. Touchless transition automatically transitions the element rival between legs of a triathlon so that you can maintain focus on your race rather than your equipment. Plus this one. Again, if I was a triathlete, this would really appeal to me. Multi-sport handover. Set up your rival and element bike computer to automatically share data between devices during triathlon so that you can view your race on both devices. There's a three times zoom so you can see, you know, specific information that you want on there as much as you want or as little as you want, you know, similar to the Rome. Battery life with a 24 hour battery when in GPS mode, you can tackle the longest races and know the element rival will perform. The element rival battery will last for up to two weeks in regular smartwatch mode. Ooh, nice. And here, here's one for us cyclists or when you're training indoors, kicker control. This is pretty cool. It pairs with the kicker smart trainers to allow you to train in three different modes, erg mode, level or passive to just record your workout controlled by another app. And here you can see the details that you guys want to know about. It's size, uh, I don't know why you'd want to know the size, but if you look at the pictures of the lifestyle shots, that's how big it looks on a wrist, right? The screen resolution is 240 by 240 pixels. Its display type is a sunlight visible trans-reflective memory in MIP, no idea what that means. It's, it weighs 53 grams, it has a water rating of 50 meters. That'd be handy for me, you know, I, I love a, a, a good swim. Battery life, as we spoke about, 24 hours in GPS mode, 14 days at smartwatch battery life. That's crazy. Alerts, a visual, vibrational, I think I've just made that word up, and sound. And the sensors you've got inside the watch is a barometric altimeter, an accelerometer, and a GPS. And obviously, like most things nowadays, connects via Ant Plus and Bluetooth. Oh, and also the bezel on it is ceramic and the lens material is Gorilla Glass. So you know it's gonna be pretty, um, 
pretty robust. That is a sexy looking watch. Now let's talk retail prices because that's what everybody wants to know. Over here in the UK, it's going to retail for £349.99. Over in America, it's going to retail at $379.99. That's the same price in euros, $379.99. Down in Australia, it's going to retail for $599 Australian dollars and 95 Australian cents. So it sits in a, a very competitive market. And when we look at what watches this is compared against, we're thinking uh, the Garmin Forerunner 935 and 945, the Suntel 9, the Chorus Apex, and the Polar Grit X and Vantage X. But what sets the Wahoo rival apart from its, well, its rivals at that price point is some of those key features that you just don't see on multi-sports watches. First up, touchless transition. Now, me personally, I'm a cyclist. I get on my bike and I don't finish till I get off my bike, but in terms of multi-sport events and especially triathlon, that transition phase going from the swim to the bike or the bike to the run is a very important phase and one way you can make up a lot of time and a lot of people spend a lot of analysis finding out where they can find a bit of time during that transition. Now with this watch, you don't even need to think about setting that timer. You don't even need to think about hitting that lap timer to know that you're in a transition. The watch will automatically know when you're out of that water, when you're running towards that bike, when you're on that bike and when you're pedaling. It will also know when you're off the bike to transition into that run. And that just makes it so much easier and so much simpler. And it allows the watch to do what it's supposed to, which in turn allows you to do what you're supposed to in concentrating on getting that transition as quick as possible. It's amazing. On top of that, you've got that ambient light sensor. So if like me and you ever did do an I, I'm never gonna do an Ironman, but if I was to ever do an Ironman, I'd be swimming in the dark in the morning. I'd potentially be riding in the daytime and I'd certainly be running in the nighttime. And with that ambient light sensor, at least I know with this watch that I'm gonna be able to see it all the time while I'm out there doing my Ironman. That ambient light sensor is gonna adjust and change depending on the lighting conditions to make sure that you can always see what is going on on that watch. And then another feature that you probably don't even realize you need or want, but you'll be grateful for it, is that ceramic bezel. Now Wahoo have put a lot of time and research into finding out what the best material is to use on that bezel to ensure that they're getting the best connectivity between their GPS sensors and the watch. Turns out ceramic is better than what other companies are using in terms of uh, polymers or, or stainless steel. Using that ceramic bezel, you're gonna get a quicker uh, lock on with that GPS and the speeds are gonna be increased. So you're gonna get a much more accurate reading from that GPS unit. So again, you've got Wahoo taking it to another level ensuring that that GPS connectivity is as best as it can be. Now I spoke to Wahoo about this and they, they essentially said, listen, this watch is a bolt for your wrist. Now, if you've been a fan of this channel before, if you're a fan of Wahoo and you have a Bolt, you will know just how good that bike computer is. It is, it's not as good as my Roam. I love my Roam, but that's essentially down to the routing features and the size of it. I, I kind of love the size of it, but the Bolt is just, it's an amazing product. Like. I don't even need to be paid to say that. It is such a good product. And what I love about Wahoo is they brought it to market and then they spent the years subsequently changing, upgrading, producing better software for it to make this a better product as it's gone along. And I've got a feeling that's what they're gonna do with this watch. Now this watch might come to market and a lot of triathletes will be missing a few features on it or they'll want more out of it. But what we've seen with Wahoo, especially when it comes to the Element Bolt, is that they're willing to listen to that consumer feedback. They're willing to improve on their products. They'll bring firmware out. They'll bring new features out. You know, when you look at the Element Bolt, it's still getting upgraded even now, and they're just making that product better and better. They've got a solid product in that Bolt, and they keep creating that better firmware, better features that allow that to, to stand the test of time. And, and although it's a couple of years old, still an amazing product and if you're coming to that market just now and you pick up an element bolt it's got all the features that you need and i feel that that's going to be the same as this watch now question time let me know what do you think of the new wahoo rival if you're interested in buying it might i say that there's a link down in the description if you head over to wahoo and you buy it through that link you'll be helping the channel out immensely and i would really 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 appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments below 
Are you a triathlete? The hell are you doing here if you are? Uh, and secondly, are you going to be buying this watch? Do you think it's going to be competitive in the market? Do you think it's going to steal a, a percentage of that market from the likes of Garmin and Sunto? And one more question, which wrist do you wear your watch on? I always wear mine on the right and people say that's weird. But let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching everybody. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to share it amongst your friends. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you've disliked the video for whatever reason, Garmin fanboys and girls out there, leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.